Okay, this is a video on the veins of the cat. Here is the superior vena cava uh, coming out of the heart, which is right there. This is the head of the cat up here, just to get your bearings. This is the right side of the cat. This is the left side of the cat. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to name the vessels, but uh, bear that in mind when it comes to left and right. Uh, if there's only one, then you know you wouldn't have to indicate left or right. <clears throat> okay, there's only one superior vena cava, which is here, and then you have the internal mammary, which comes out of it here. And if you look at that uh, division, that bifurcation, that's how the blood is drained from the left and right uh, part of the chest wall. So unlike the artery there's only one. Uh, okay as we continue it uh, bifurcates, it divides into that Y shape that you see here. This is the brachycephalic, brachycephalic, but uh, this is the right, this is the left. Here is Here over here is the right vertebral, over here is the left vertebral. Notice that one comes off the superior vena cava and one comes off the brachiocephalic. Okay, you have the external jugular and continued here uh, is the uh, subclavian here because you have a subscapular which goes to the scapular area and so this from here to here is the subclavian uh, and because the subscapular goes posteriorly the name is now axillary so this is axillary and after uh, axillary uh, you, you see another uh, uh, vessel that uh, connects to that axillary and so uh, that would be the ventral thoracic and then you end up with the last one that you have to know which is the brachial. Okay, uh, so I've covered uh, the arm area and uh, the beginning area from the heart. So let's do the head area. And this is slide us down a little bit. Okay, uh, again the brachycephalic has this uh, vessel going up to the head and those are the external jugular. Internal jugular, we're lucky to be able to see it on this cat. If you see, look very careful, there's a tiny little vessel right here. You can barely see a little blue latex injection that you can see on this cat. And 90% of the time on cats you won't find that one. It'll be broken so easily because they're so small. So that this is what a internal uh, jugular looks like. Okay, if we go back to the external jugular, uh, you see over here what's coming off of it is the transverse uh, scapula. Okay, you continue up the external jugular, and then you f will find the posterior facial because that drains blood from the back of the head. You continue up, and uh, uh, this would be the anterior facial because it drains blood from the face area. And what connects the two sides of the jugulars, they call it the transverse jugular, hence the name. Hope that uh, helps. Uh, again, I'm going to just uh, point out uh, a couple, two things. Make sure that you're you, you're careful to, to find the vertebral because it uh, they're not symmetrical. It doesn't come off the same vessel. Here on uh, this cat comes off the superior vena cava and the brachycephalic. And the next thing I wanted to emphasize is uh, over here the subclavian. It's that really short area. 
So an exam it could be pinned right here. And uh, students always make a mistake of, of that. But what gives it away is that so you see how you have an external jugular coming up this way. And you, you have the subscapular goes downward. So that's why this area here to here is the subclavian. Then after that is the axillary and uh, another vein goes there so that's the ventral thoracic I just wanted to repeat that because that's that was worth repeating because a lot of people get confused by that one area here is the azagus uh, vein which I did uh, include in the uh, video and a map that you can uh, reference and pause at any time